Authorities released the booking photo of the man accused of killing a Tangipaho Parish woman, kidnapping her two young daughters and killing one of them. Daniel Callahan was booked into the Rankin County, Mississippi jail early this morning. Good evening, everyone. I'm Katie Moore in for Leslie Spoon this afternoon. We're also learning of a second arrest in the case. Jackson's police chief says 32 year old Victoria Cox was arrested as an accomplice. We're working to get more information on what role she may have played in all of this. It is certainly a tragic story with new developments unfolding by the hour. So let's go to Winston Reed. He's live at the scene of the initial crime in LaRanger. Winston, what's the latest? Well, the latest right now is that local, state, and federal agencies are working to see who will charge Daniel Callahan for the murder of four-year-old Erin Brunette. She was found in a wooded area in Jackson yesterday following that Amber Alert being issued. And her six-year-old sister, Jaylee, was found alive and well. According to Jackson Police, she was found inside of that vehicle that she was kidnapped in. Now. Officials tell me that she will return to her grandparents when she is released from the hospital. This investigation began yesterday when uh, in Loringer, when the girl's grandfather found their mother, Callie Brunette, murdered in her bedroom. Her children and her a car were nowhere to be found at the time, and that's when Louisiana State Police issued that Amber Alert around 12:30 yesterday afternoon. U.S. Marshals were able to track the vehicle to Jackson, where they arrested Daniel Callahan, and they found Aaron Brunette dead in that wooded area nearby the vehicle and her sister inside of the vehicle. And the Tangipahoa Sheriff's Office says Callahan is an on-again, off-again. Uh, boyfriend of Callie Brunette and that he is not the uh, father of either of the girls. Now we're working to see if Callahan will be extradited back to Tangipahoa or if he will be put into uh, federal custody. I did talk to the Rankin County Sheriff this morning and he says that right now that Callahan is just being held at the Tangipahoa uh, County Jail in Mississippi just for courtesy purposes for uh, I'm sorry, he is in the Rankin County Jail for courtesy purposes of the Tangipahoa Sheriff's Office and federal agencies. We'll keep you up to date on the latest in this investigation. Reporting live in Loringer, Winston Reed, WWL, Louisiana. Thank you so much, Winston. And this morning, the FBI unit in Jackson released a statement saying in part, quote, the FBI is dedicating all available resources and tools at its disposal to this investigation, including victim services personnel who are working closely with the survivors of this unspeakable tragedy. They went on to say they can't share any further details, but if you know anything about the case that could be helpful to investigators, you're urged to call the FBI at 1-800-CALL-FBI.